What's up guys, hang up with Fourth Year back in the video and today I'm back with another banger. Today I'm here to help you guys in 2020 connect your PS4 controller to PC. Now I hope this helps some of you guys out that are transferring from PlayStation to PC or maybe you just want to bring your PlayStation controller along, you're new to PC and you just like the PlayStation controller, it's the best one to you. Today I'm going to help you guys connect it to PC using a program called DS4 Windows. Now in this video, I'm going to be doing it two specific methods. I'm going to, the first method that I'm going to do, or the first step to it, is a Bluetooth connection. I'm not going to be using wires, I'm going to be using Bluetooth. So if you guys have a Bluetooth adapter to your computer, then you're ready to go. You can use a cable, it works the same way, you just hook it up with a micro USB cable and you'll be ready to go. Second thing is, this tutorial using DS4 Windows, I'm going to be playing, this is for basically Origin and you play in games that aren't on Steam. Steam has its own native PlayStation controller support, so I'm going to make a video on that later on, but this is for you play in Origin in games that just don't have that native controller support for PlayStation. They might have it for Xbox, but not for PlayStation. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing you're going to need, the first thing you're going to need is DS4 Windows. It's an amazing program. I'll have a link in the description below. Download that zip and then we can go ahead and get started. So once you have that downloaded, second thing you're gonna to wanna to do is connect your controller. Like I said, we're doing it Bluetooth style, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to Devices, Bluetooth, and I have my camera right here showing my controller. Uh, this charger is a Power-A charger, if you were looking at this and was wondering uh, what this is. It's a Power-A charger, it's about 30 bucks. It's pretty dope. So let's get into it. So the first thing you wanna do is take your controller and you wanna hold the Share button and the PS button. Hold those down until the light at the top starts flashing. Once it's flashing, that means it's ready to pair. So the next thing you wanna do is go to your computer, Bluetooth settings, hit add, and then you wanna hit Bluetooth. And you should see wireless controller input. That's what you wanna click. Click that, and your controller should connect. And it should turn this kind of blue, light bluish color, this like transparent color, that means it's connected and ready to go. If it's changing a color or something like that, you might have Steam on, it's highly recommended that you turn Steam off in this setting. If you're playing any game that's not Steam, if you're playing like FIFA or Madden or something like that, and you're using DS4 Windows, it's highly recommended to turn off Steam because it interferes with the program. The controller supports kind of go at it and it messes with it. Um, there is an option in DS4 Windows, I'll show you later, to hide DS4 controller, but I found that, that that setting doesn't always work. So it's just best to just cut off Steam completely. So now that it's connected, you wanna go ahead and open up that DS4 Windows program. So you'll, it'll come in like a zip. You just wanna extract that, open that up, and you'll get two files. You'll get DS4 Updater and DS4 Windows. You wanna go ahead and open DS4 Windows. And you should see, since I've done this before, uh, I'm still gonna install the driver, but I've uninstalled it. You will see like a program saying, uh, or like a window that might say standard install or like portable install. You just wanna do the standard. It'll install it to app data to the actual computer. So once you do that, you'll also get this window right here. Uh, welcome to DS4 Windows, install the driver. Just go ahead and click that. It says you might have to reboot. In most cases you won't. But uh, if your Windows does not notice the driver after the time that it says 10 to 15 minutes, if you're just waiting and it's not connecting, go ahead, excuse me, go ahead and restart your computer and that should do the trick. And that's pretty much it for this. Uh, if, this is obviously if you're on Windows 10. If you're on Windows 7 or below, you gotta install the driver, but I don't think many people are on Windows 7 anymore. All right, so now that we're here, that's pretty much it. And you can close this whole folder out. And here we have the program, DS4 Windows. Now for me, I'm gonna have to stop and start it again. And here we go. You should see the ID, the Bluetooth address of your controller, the status that is connected, either Bluetooth or a wire, your battery uh, percentage. And as you can see, my controller has changed to this like pink color. That's the color that I set it to. Can't really see it, but it's like a pinkish color. Um, you can set this to any color you want using custom colors. It has so many options. You could change it to whatever color you want. Green, I'll change it to green. You can see it's there, green. And another thing that's awesome about this, this program is that you can set profiles to specific games, have it do specific things. So maybe if you like play a racing game and you want your controller to have a certain dead zone, I know there's dead zone settings usually in the game, but you can change it that way. Or if you want, one thing that I've done in the past um, when I had my uh, older PS PS4 controller, I used to make a profile for each specific game and it would change colors. So like for Madden, I would have it orange, just for example, since the, the color is orange. Maybe if I was playing FIFA, I'd have it this pink color. Rocket League, I'd have it blue. You get what I'm saying? So I would change the colors depending on the game and that was really, really cool to me. 2K, NBA 2K, I have it red, just an example. 
Now in the settings, I'll just go ahead and show you the settings that I personally set. It's not many, it's just a couple. Number one, I have it on white DS4 icon just because my controller is a green and white. And beforehand I had the official white uh, controller. This is a, I think it's called, I forgot the name of it, Mountain Green or something like that. That's the colorway of this controller. So I have it on white DS4 icon. Second thing, uh, when I go to the profile, the default pro profile, I go here and then I go to special actions, disconnect controller. I personally like mine to be the PS button and triangle. So if I hit the PS button and triangle, the controller disconnects, right? And it also shows this, but uh, I can go ahead and uh, connect it back just by hitting the PS icon and it'll go ahead and like flash and then it'll automatically connect super easy. I like it specifically with that combination just because that's the same exact combination as it is on Steam. On Steam, you disconnect your, your controller by hitting triangle and PlayStation, so I just kept it that way. Those are the only two things I change. Everything else, I keep the exact same. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop into a game, and I'll show you guys that the controller in fact works, because I don't wanna you know, just leave you hanging and then you get in the game and it doesn't work. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that it is in fact working. So we're gonna do our test game FIFA 20, and I'm gonna get some footage for you guys showing you that it works. And one thing I should note specifically on FIFA 20, uh, sometimes if you have your mouse cursor over the screen, when you're going through the menus, it'll highlight the one that your mouse is over. To fix that, just move your mouse cursor in the corner of a screen. So like, for example, uh, if I have it here, right? Every menu I go to, it'll highlight that one. You see what I'm saying? It'll highlight the one mouse over. I can just move it over and it'll fix it. And one thing you'll notice if you're new to PC completely, um, to the people that are brand new to PC and they're brand new to using this program, you'll notice that you'll see Xbox icons. That is something that honestly, you just have to get used to. Um, if you've used the Xbox controller before, you won't have to worry about it. It'd feel natural, but if you're used to PlayStation buttons, you'll just have to get used to the fact that you'll see Xbox icons. That's something that you can't really change. Um, on Steam, sometimes you can see uh, the PlayStation icons, like on Rocket League, sometimes you'll see PlayStation icons, but in most games, you'll see Xbox icons. That's because the program masks your controller as an Xbox controller. So, yeah, it's just something you get used to, but it, it's really cool, honestly. It's not, it's not, it's not too bad. Uh, you get used to it fairly quickly. And I should note one last thing for this video that's very, very important. Um, when you're disconnecting your, your controller, just to make sure none of your programs interfere with each other. Like I said before, I disconnect my controller by basically just hitting the PS button and triangle. So I hit that, you can see it on my screen. And I'll just hit this here. And basically, when you want to go back to playing a Steam game, to close out DS4 Windows, you can go to your bottom right of your screen. You'll see the icon. All you have to do is just hit the middle mouse button, but if you want to, if you want to, you can right click and hit exit. But you can hit your middle mouse button over it. And then you can open back up Steam. And say, for example, if I wanted to play a PlayStation game, right? Or not a PlayStation game, say a, a Steam game like Rocket League. I could just go ahead and connect my controller again by just hitting that PS button. And it'll connect and it'll turn the white color that I have set for Steam. And I can go ahead and hop into any game I want. So say, for example, Skater XL, it's a Steam game. I can just play a Steam game just like normal, same controller, you know what I'm saying? Very simple. And that's pretty much it for me. I hope I helped some of you guys out that are new to PC or transferring or just want to start playing PC games with a controller. Um, I thank you. Thanks to everybody who comes to my specific video to help you out. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or evening whenever you're watching this game. And I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like down below and subscribe if you enjoyed this type of content. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks guys.